Rod and I grew up in Gary, Indiana on the same street. Pernell immediately became my best friend because he had a basketball court in his backyard. Basically, Rod broke my backboard. Uh, <laughs> the, the jury's still out on that. Hey, I'm Pernell. And I'm Rod. And we're the co-founders of Black and Bold Coffee. We've been a 20-year executive team in the making. We both were first-generation college graduates. Attending college changed my entire expectation of what I could do professionally. So when we were deciding what we wanted to do beyond our corporate careers, we threw some things against the wall that really didn't stick. But what we were drinking during these conversations was coffee and tea. And that's how we discovered that coffee and tea was it. Neither one of us had experience in the coffee industry whatsoever. When we were first starting out, it was just me in our garage, you know, having my laptop next to the roaster and searching for what buttons to press. Which one um, not to press. Exactly, and what not to press. Um, <laughs> but we started watching a lot of YouTube videos, and we became mentees from a distance. And after a lot of trial and error, we decided, OK, it's time to bring this to the masses. Black and Bold represents our products, black coffee, black tea, but it also speaks to us as individuals. We've been black our entire lives. <laughs> Number one. You ground coffee. And so we have a role and requirement to do right by the communities that look like us, the communities that we come from. So we decided to contribute 5% of our profits to organizations that support at-risk youth. We would have been considered at-risk youth ourselves from our upbringing, and we know what it's like to walk in their shoes. So it just made sense for us to bring it full circle. The more successful we are as a company, the wider net we are able to cast because the need is great. And we believe that customers are looking to shop more consciously. And so it's important for us to identify as a Black-owned business by way of the Black-owned badge in our Google listing. It's another bridge to connect to people that are looking to support Black-owned businesses in particular. So as we welcome more customers in at such a rapid pace, I'm like, well, uh, we can't do that in this garage. <laughs> and so our facility now is over 10,000 square feet. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I'm still getting used to it. Now we have a team of 12 people that's continuing to grow. You know, you start this with just two people and an idea. That's for you, my friend. Now we're continuing to build something that could make a tangible impact back to our communities. And for that, I'm eternally grateful, my friend. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Man. <laughs>